So Gina and I are planning a very special supper this evening here at Kuzbequack National Park. Tonight it's another one of the Happy Yak Meals, Cheese and Mushroom Risotto. If you're interested, keep watching. So the Happy Yak Cheese and Mushroom Risotto, that's the basis for our meal tonight, but I'll also be preparing some Italian sausages locally made that we picked up recently in the grocery store. And we're going to be cooking those, or barbecuing them, I guess, on a small wood stove that I've been testing out for some time now that was provided to me by P.S. Cook. And I'll be doing a separate review on that, but you'll get a chance to see the, mush or see the uh, uh, sausages anyway. And we're also preparing a special dessert for ourselves tonight, a local delicacy. It's unique to this area. It's referred to as poutine a true. It's an Acadian dessert, very original and very old, and it originated in this area. Those also will come under a separate video, but let's get back to the, to the uh, Happy Yak meal. So the cheese and mushroom risotto, it is one of the gluten reduced meals. And uh, well, the total package content will, will provide you 640 calories, so it's a fairly rich meal. So Gina and I will be sharing this. We'll have a 320 calorie meal each. It uses 400 milliliters of water, and this is one of those, uh, takes a bit of extra time. It's not one of the instant type of meals. You start by combining the cold water with the contents of the bag, mix well, bring to a boil, stirring constantly, reduce heat, and simmer for one to two minutes cover, remove from the heat, and let stand for 10 minutes. And then it also says it can be served as a main course or share as a side dish. And that's how we're going to be doing it today. All right, so here it is again, the Happy Yak meal. And like with the other Happy Yak meals, I'll be providing links in the video or in the show notes below to where you can purchase this as well as links directly to this meal so you can see the contents and the nutritional breakdown. All right, let's start making this meal. Okay, so basically a cheese and mushroom risotto is, is rice with cheese and mushroom in a white wine cream sauce. So let's uh, open the package up. And then it's usually a little easier to open than the other. Oh, it's already open. There we go. I note that the cheese in this case is uh, a freeze-dried mozzarella, but there's also some uh, blue cheese in there. You can see the mushrooms, all freeze-dried mushrooms. Uh, the rice is all through there, and then the sauce. So pretty simple when you think about it. So we add 400 mils, or just under uh, eight ounces of water to this, or yes, just under two cups, I should say. Mix it together. And with the other Happy Yak meals, the sauce itself pretty much dissolved and instantly. So all that's left now is to bring this to a boil, simmer it for the length of time that it said, which was one to two minutes, and then cover and let stand for 10 minutes. So that's the next step is to take this back into the kitchen, put it on the stove, and then simmer it, and then we'll, sh we'll show you putting it in the cozy before we let it stand for 10 minutes. All right, so what's that? Two minutes worth of simmering, simmering right? Brought okay. it to a boil, stirring constantly, and two minutes simmering time. So Excellent. It's now time to take the handle off the pot, put the cover on, wrap her up, and leave her for 10 minutes. And like I've mentioned in uh, another video, I had failed to package or pla uh, pack a, uh, a proper cozy so we're kind of making do with our windshield reflector, which is what most cozies are made from anyway. And uh, that's enough. We found that this is quite a bit and will hold most of the heat in. All right, so 10 minutes now, is it? 10 minutes from now. And that's when we'll bring it back. So as part of my testing of this uh, folding wood stove from P.S. Cook, I wanted to try charcoal, lump charcoal, to see if it, how it would work as a mini barbecue. Because when you look at it, that's, that's the first thought I had, is it looks more like a little barbecue than it does a wood stove. So I lit up a little bit of wood charcoal. It's uh, uh, pretty much ready now for grilling. And to supper tonight, we're having one of our Happy Yak meals, a uh, mushroom and rice, or cheese and mushroom risotto. So on the side, I'm going to have a couple of sausages, hot Italian sausages made locally here. 
So, uh, you know, this, this is quite a handy little stove to be able to do this with. I'm, I don't think this is going to work well with wood pellets. I can't quite see how it would set it for wood pellets unless I put a screen in it. But, uh, you know, so far for wood, the testing I've been doing with wood, and now with the charcoal, it seems to work very well. What I like about it is there is a lot of heat coming out of the side. You can see it just kind of pushes the heat out. I don't know if a mini reflector oven... Uh, I don't think a full-size reflector oven, but maybe one of the little uh, homemade reflector ovens I have. You know, that's a lot of heat. Uh, with wood, more than the charcoal, I should have enough heat to use that as, uh, you know, with, with the reflector oven to do some cooking, a little baking with it as well. So I can see that the sausage is starting to sizzle already. I wasn't quite sure where to put it height-wise. Uh, right now it's probably at the lowest position that you can set it on of the, uh, the adjustments there. But, uh, you know, I could have brought it up a little higher, but I will tell you, there is a <laughs> there's plenty of heat for grilling right now. So that's what we'll do, is I will spend a few minutes grilling these sausages up. I'll show you what they look like, and we'll get back to the rest of the video. Okay, that didn't take long. These things are, are grilled pretty much grilled up just nicely. Uh, I did him fail to pack any barbecue sauce on it, so they're without the barbecue sauce, uh, but I don't think that'll bother them in the least. I did pierce them to release a little bit of the fat. They are taking some nice grilling marks on them, as you can see. One thing I noticed, uh, do be careful with this grate. You can see the way it's designed. There's a rather large hole in the middle here, and then on either end. It looks like it's done for aesthetic reasons, not necessarily for any structural rigidity. But what it does is, if, you, if I turn these at an angle, and I'm, what I couldn't notice before is the stove has got a slight cant in this direction, ever so slight. But the sausage just wanted to roll. I almost lost twice. I almost lost the sausage down into the charcoal. Not that it would have ruined it, but it's just a nuisance to have to fish it out of the charcoal again down in there. The other thing I could have done to make it a little easier for myself, the way the welds are for the grill, if I had turned it over there would have been a little bit of an edge that might have helped to prevent those things from rolling off. So I'll, I'll make sure to do that in the future as well. Otherwise these are pretty much per perfect and uh, now it's time for Gina and I to have some supper and we'll get back to the rest of the review on the folding wood stove from PS Cook. All right, I think supper is ready. Let's unwrap and see what we have. Nice and warm in here. Good. And you're gonna lift it off? Oh, you want me to do it? Yeah. Oh, creamy looking. Yeah, it smell good. It smells delicious. Yeah, let me move this off the table then. Get this out of the way and have a seat. Okay. All right. I believe it's your turn. <laughs> Lord, we come to the end of the day with grateful hearts for all the blessings that we've received today. Mostly for the blessing of this special place, and this wonderful food, and the joy of sharing it together. We ask you to bless it, to bless the many hands that help prepare it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay, so let's uh, serve some of that up. Do you want me to serve you tonight? How about that? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Okay. You may need the gripper. It's thick. Very thick. Looks lovely. A little bit more? Yeah, a little bit. All right. Awesome. Now that's not, you know, that's not even half of the wow. what's in here. Yeah, there's, there's quite a bit here. Now, when we were at the co-op today, I was able to pick up some fresh local green beans. Fresh local green beans. So the package did say this could be used as a main or a side. So I guess we'll, we'll call it the side in this case. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With green beans and barbecued, locally made, hot Thank Italian you. sausages. And uh, I cooked these on a new stove that was sent to me by P.S. Cook. It's a little wood stove, a folding wood stove. And I used it with charcoal to... Uh, they look to, incredible. Do you want any more beans? No, I'm good, thanks. I'm gonna take them all. Are you actually gonna make me wait? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's give that a taste. Mm. The mushrooms look good. Oh, smell. 
That is very tasty. Okay, that's a winner. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some very distinct flavors in there. Texture is absolutely perfect. There's like a sharpness in it. Maybe mm, the blue, blue cheese. cheese. Right, yeah, they did say there was some blue cheese in it. Uh-huh. Right, the mushrooms, mushrooms came back perfectly. Mm. Okay. Okay, folks. Again, as with the other meals, we're not going to let you or make you watch us eat the whole meal. I guess it's fair enough, though. How's the sausage? Good sausages? Beautiful. Yeah, of course. I barbecued. <laughs> okay. We're going to enjoy your meal, and then I'll bring you back for some closing thoughts on the Happy Yak Cheese and Mushroom Risotto. Okay, so a few closing thoughts on the Happy Yak cheese and mushroom risotto. Overall, I consider this a great side dish. I don't know that I consider it a main dish to be served by itself. It does have 28 grams of protein, I think mostly from the cheese that's in, in the ingredients. But it benefited a lot when we added the hot Italian sausages that I barbecued on the little P.S. Kook uh, folding wood stove that I've been testing. Yeah, it, it is very tasty, in fact. In fact, I don't think I have found in a grocery store any of the side dishes like the Norse Sidekicks or any of those that come up to this in flavor. It is more expensive than those, but it is also much more tasty. It is a good dish. You may want to consider having a look at it. And of course, as I mentioned in the other videos, I will leave the information on where you can purchase this in the show notes, as well as the direct link to this meal so you can see the ingredients as well as the, the nutritional breakdown. If you have any thoughts on this or any of the other Happy Act meals, please leave them in the comments below. But until we see each other again, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It will make all the difference. Bye for now.